Hello folks, this is Jeffrey J329 here about to play my 46th gameplay of Pokemon Trading Card Game of Life for the PC. And today I'm going to show you a new deck that I just made. It's my Mega Glalie EX deck. It's one of my favorite EXs in the game. And it's part of my last video of 2016. So I'm going to show you how the deck works and I'm going to give you the profile on each of the cards. So, here's, a, here's my main person, Glalie and Mega Glalie. Well, Glalie has the attack Ice Breath and Instant Freeze. I spread it for 1 energy, it flips your coins, heads, and points paralyzed. And for 3 energy, water double color, which does instant freeze. If I match my opponent's hand size, that means if I have the same number of cards as my and my opponent does, it does 100 more damage plus the 50. So it does 150 for 3 energy, which is not bad. I do have ways to match a hand. I do I play with Artillery, I play with Judge. It's, pretty, it's one of my favorite AXs ever. It's a very good deck. I love, the, I love playing this deck. Here's the Mega Glalie. For 3 energy, it has uh, Cryo Mouth. If it gets hit by 100 damage or more, it does 150 to it, but space 100. So it goes 250 damage, which pretty much knocks any every EX in the game. Maybe Will or EX, which is the most strongest EX in the game, which is 250 HP. So I, I can get that easily set up with the double colors and the water energy, of course. And here's some of the other support that I play with it. I play Hoopa EX, one copy of Hoopa EX, which allows me to search my deck for my Glalie EXs and my Mega Glalie EXs, and also Manaphy EX as well. Which I'm about to show in a little bit. I search out with Ultra Ball. Sometimes I, when I draw with that, I like to start with that as well. Well, it's not good to start with him as you're active because you want to draw him. We want to play him from your hand. So if I start with some, I have another Pokemon or a um, EX, I just, I just drop him second, my first turn. I'm going first or second. I play 4 3 line of Mega Glalie EX. And here's, I play one copy of Manaphy EX, which has the ability Aqua 2. It says each of my Pokemon has water energy attached to it, has no retreat. So. Because Mega Glalie and Glalie have three retreat cards, it's pretty good to have them manifest so I can just retreat them free since I attach water energy to them all the time, so. And also if I play one Reggie Ice, just in case for the EX stall, just in case for the EX stacks. It has two energy, does one for one, one and one colors with Ice Beam, which is 30 damage. If it's had my opponent's palace, but I mainly use it for its second attack, which is Resistance Blizzard. For one energy, one water energy, two double colors, it does two colors, does 70 damage, and during my opponent's next turn, prevents all effects of attacks, including damage done to this Pokemon by Pokemon EX. So many AX decks playing around still. So I. Just in case I use them as a store card to get my Glalies ready and my Mega Glalies ready. And I play 2 2 line Reverend Artillery. Artillery is my draw engine since I don't play Shaman. I don't have 2 Shaman in the game. Shaman is the most expensive card in the game to get. So he has the ability to boost of hand. Once during my turn, I can draw 2 out of 5 in my hand. So. Since I play Judge, I always have four. I can just draw extra cards. So I just get as many cards as I need to get. That's why I play him as well. I play a tutorial line. Now the trainer line. That's the Pokemon line. Now the trainer line. I play four Dive Ball. Since all my Pokemon are basically water. Except for Hoopa. It searches like for any water Pokemon. So I can just search like Glalie, Mega Glalie. I can search for everybody except Hula, Hoopa. So that's another card. I play one Escape Ball for the Switch. Just in case if I, uh, if I have a trouble getting this stuff out, or if I have a, they try and last end of my hoop, if I don't have my mana fee out. And then I say I can switch them out. And then uh, they can, my opponent switches out for something too. I also play 2 Mega Turbo. Which allows me to uh, disc uh, attach your energy, to basic energy from the Skull Power to one of my Mega, my mega Buffs. So I, touch, I search the energy out from my Mega Glalie, of course, so I can get them ready. Just in case. Play one special charge. I do play four double colors. So I can shovel two of those double colors back to my deck just in case if I need them. Because then that's hammer, which is allowed uh, energy to be discarded, special energy to be discarded from your opponent's Pokemon. So I play that just in case to get my energy back. Play one super rod to get my Glalies, Mega Glalies, to make my Pokemon and my energies back, just in case if I need them. Because I burn them out really fast. Play one Ultra Ball, such a switch for that like Hoopa or any other, other Pokemon in my deck. Play four versus Seeker to get back my supporter cards like my Hex or my Judges or Lysanders, my Key Lysanders or any other draw supporters that I need just in case. I play one Hex Maniac just to get to shut down some builders like Volcanion and Mega and um, um, Good Ninja Break and all those builders to shut them down just in case to, so they can't knock out my Glalie because Glalie is very hard to knock out. Most most decks are too shot by Glalie except for like. Um, Mega Mewtwo, which will they need to get enough energy out. I play one Judge, which allows to uh, each player to have draw until they have four cards in their hand. 
So I can, be, I can do that for my Glalie EX, or I can do that just in case they start off like with a big hand. I need to do it first turn too, which is pretty good. So I can stall them out. Play two Lysander, which is my one for the Pokemon capture. I can bring out somebody. I can knock out one shot, or any Pokemon I use to, I can stall, which is in case I'm not ready or anything. I do play 4N, pretty much just a basic supporter. Draw, uh, shove a hand, draw them into the price cards ahead. It's a very good late game, I must say. So I, if they, I could, if I'm pretty much struggling, I can have a bigger advantage hand size with my opponent. Then I play one Pokemon Ranger just in case if I see um, a Red Ice or any other abilities that might affect my Glades and Mega Glades and stuff. Then I play four Professor Sycamore, pretty much discard your hand, draw to seven, it's pretty much spell and standard really too. But stay I play three rough Cs, so I can heal my opponent, uh, my Glale my order Pokemon. In case, but I don't play against the mirror match that much because they play, they can heal it too, too. And I play four Glalie Spiraling, which allows my Glalie to go to my Mega Glalies. My Angel, I know, I play eight water and I play four double colorists to get my attacks going. And that's it for the deck, so let's see the deck in action. I'm gonna take on, uh, let's see what I'm gonna take on today. Pretty much love the deck overall. It's one of my, it's my favorite, I think it's my absolute favorite deck to play out of all the decks I've played so far this year. Let's see, I'm waiting for my opponent to switch. Here we go. Okay, I'm taking on Name Not Cow, which is probably playing uh, Tile Flame Greninja. Because Greninja is a very tough matchup for me because I can't really one shot them that much unless I play lately. So I won the Coin Flicked. I will choose to go first. Okay. Okay, looks like I want to start with a Memory Raid. Oh, my head's not looking too good. But he, didn't, he does have a basic, which is good. So let's pick up a Memory Raid. I can always retreat it out with the. There's only one energy, so I can just retreat him out by the Scarring the Energy, or I can just. Um, Manaphy him. Okay, so it is a good ninja deck. Good ninja break, of course. We just to uh, weaken the Pokemon with their ability, Giant Water Shuriken. So did he draw a basic this time? Yep, he did. He's probably trying to start to turn him Talon Flame. Talon Flame allows him to search. Uh, if you uh, draw him as you active, you can play him as the active first turn because he's normally evolved Pokemon. Since you're uh, evolved Pokemon, you will have to evolve him manually just to get him out there. Because you're not to him, which is good. I do the judge as well, which is even better. So I'm attaching energy to my gla uh, my Remoraid, and I want to play the judge. Even though I would lose my hand side, I would lose his for sure. Okay, okay yeah, I drew a mana feed too, so. But I'm not going to bring out mana feed just yet. I'm going to draw mana feed into the bench, and I'm going to pass my turn. Next time I can, I can end of anything, just in case. Now it's his turn. Oh, he plays the NS. Okay, so he plays it helps me out. So I was gonna play NX anyway. Let's see how my hand is this time. Oh, my hand's a lot better. I got okay, good. I got the hoop, so I can start to run my Glegalies AXs. He drops off two Froki, and he ends his turn. Okay, I'm gonna drop the Hoopa. I'm gonna search for part uh three more Glegal EX. Okay, I only search two. I'm only gonna search two anyway. I'm gonna attach both my spirit links to those Glalies. I'm gonna attach the water energy to my Glalie as well. I'm gonna sick them all because I don't wanna give him more cards. Okay, I'm gonna draw my hand. Pretty good. I think I got the artillery, which I wanted. I'm going to retreat him, get him out of there, because I can retreat for free because of Manaphy. And I'm gonna just go attack with try to paralyze with ice breath. I did get it, so that's good. So you can't attack me at all. Next time I'll attach a double colorist. I'll probably play the end. Oh, you guys, now you've lost the fog of deer. What you're good is you can't get him out of the active spot. Because you can't water duplicates it. And he ends his turn after that. Well, I draw a light sign, that's good. But unfortunately, I cannot match his hand size just quite yet. Actually, I can. Light sign of the fog of deer. Now I'm going to play the super bot purpose to just supplement my water energy back. And since we have the same number of cards, I have the energy required. I'm going to use Instant Freeze and knock him out. Does 150, I take a prize. I got a rough seat, which is not bad, I can use that. And he's going to probably promote the other Froki. He probably has a Fogger Deer in his hand, that's probably why he did it. Fogger Deer has an attack called Water of the Crisp, which allows you to search as many Frokies as one from your deck into the uh, bench. Chances of the Splash Energy to it. The Splash Energy allows him to get, um,. It allows him to um, 
search, uh, retreat, uh, bring everything back to his hand so he can just recycle Greninja, uh, Frog and Greninja all over again. He goes on Frog and he's gonna wobble the little kids. So I got two more Frogger there. Let's see what I draw. I draw another one. It was attached to my Glalie. I don't want to hit him, but I'm going to have to. Oh, I can judge too. Which I think I'm going to do. I'm going to judge so I can give him less cards out. I'm not going to play the rough season yet because I don't want to help him out. Let me judge him out. Let's see if I judge. And we'll match the hand size for sure. I can dive off a Mega Glalie. I don't even have to match hand size now. Let me draw with uh, actually let me uh dive off for Mega Glalie so I can draw more cards with artillery. Okay, that's the Mega Glalie. So show the Mega Glalie. I'm going to I best have for two cards. So I, so I draw two out of five. I draw two more buffs, but I don't need them at the most. I'm just gonna cry on maps. So I knock them out automatically with 100 damage. Okay, let's take a prize. Double colors, very nice. So I can get my uh I can get my uh, Glalie charged up for next turn. And the frog, thanks, thanks to the splash energy he had in his hand, he could bring back the uh, the frog deer and the froki back to his hand. He attaches the uh, energy to Talon Flame. He's probably got an Arrow Wing, Arrow Blitz, which allows him to search any two cards in his deck. And he evolves to Greninja, and he's going to die more probably for another Greninja. And then he's gonna, and that's all. Oh, it's got my special energy, which is okay though, because I have another one in my hand. It's gonna arrow blitz for 40. Let's see what I draw next. I don't want to end him, so I don't want to give him more cards. He only has one card in his hand. He's probably gonna search for two breaks. But I'm gonna play the Hex Maniac so I can stall him. Okay, I drew another dive ball, which is good. I'm gonna get another Glalie, Mega Glalie ready to go. Now I'm gonna play a Hex Maniac now. First, let me drop down uh, Luxie so I can heal him. Heal my Mega Glalie. I'm gonna Hex Maniac him. Uh, let me Actillery first for one. Now I'm gonna Hex Maniac him. So he does do breaks, he can't use their abilities. So I'm gonna hit him for 100. The Cryo Mouth. That's probably what he searched for with his. Uh, uh, Arrow Blitz. Well, you probably search out a support because he needs to draw cards. Uh, there's one Greninja Break. There's another Greninja Break. So, is he going to Arrow Blitz again? Or is he going to H Train? It allows him to. So he has more prizes than me. I draw three cards, he draws six. Just fine, so I got just refill with artillery anyway. I'm gonna draw an escape rope. Okay, another anti hammer. Ouch. It's a problem with this and with special energy. Then he gets another Greninja out. Let's see if he's going into Arrow Blitz again. So, okay, I'm gonna versus Seeker for a judge anyway. Hope I can get that double color this out. But I do play special, that's why I play special charge. So I can just shuffle that energy back in. Okay, he gets, yeah, he does the Arrow Blitz once again. So just for two more cards. Okay, I can knock out the tower for the next turn. I'm gonna see what I can do next. I'll probably hex maniac him again. So I don't really need cards at the moment. I have act I have actually for anything. Trying to see what he searches out with his uh, arrow blitz. Tyler, Grand Ninja Talifer is one of the popular decks in the, in the format right now. It's one of the top decks in the format right now, actually. Okay, so he draws his gets his two. I'm going to. Okay, I did go to another water, but I need. I need a double color stuff. So let me. Um, Hex Maniac. Reverse it for my Hex Maniac. Let me draw let me draw my artillery first. Actually, I'm gonna escape roll so I can draw more cards out. With artillery. Hopefully I have a better, bigger chance to get my double colorless energy. Or my special shots so I can refuel those energy back. 
He chooses first, of course. He brings on a Greninja. I'm gonna bring on my other medic lately. And I'm going to act for two. Okay, didn't get it, but I did get another Remoray, so I can uh get another act on next turn. I'll attach the water energy to my, my uh medic lately on Hex Maniac, and I'm going to end my turn. I mean, I'll rough seize the other. The Mega Glade that's in my bench. Shatters the Splash Energy to the Greninja. Spy Diver for a, another break. Because the most decks most play with three break at the most. Problems, the only the most they can bring out is two minutes, they can't really one shot me. I was gonna bring out his talent flame again. I just had to burst in balloons to it, so if I attack I get hit by six I get hit with 60 damage. He's gonna versus seeker for ace trainer. So he draws to have six, and I'll draw to have three. Okay. Oh I got the special dodge, which is good. So I can uh get, shovel those two double colors back to my deck. He's gonna arrow blitz again. First, he's gonna nice deck. I can just judge him. He got two more cards added to his deck. I could probably just lie standing over around, so I don't wanna get hit by the rest in balloon. I do draw my guitar, which is useless right now. Let me, chat, let me put the special charge attach those two back to my deck. I'll dive off with my second artillery. Oops, sorry, there we go. Oops, come on. There we go. Now I'll draw two, I have five. I'll use the first little bit in my hand. Okay, the other color is just good. Uh, let's attach that. Now I'm gonna stick them all time. I do need cards. It's the only support I can really play right now. Okay, so there's really not much I can do. I'm just gonna have to attack, I don't have a choice. I got hit with the 60, which is fine. And then I, oh, I got a versus that's good. Probably versus for a hex maniac or something. Oops, sorry about that. I got my versus for sticker for the uh last hand. I just knock out that four cancer in the bench. I gotta get the now I have to get rid of these Greninja. Okay, now he's gonna drown in water shuriken. Well he has to do it twice because he 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 doesn't really rush on my um my lately. He's probably gonna do it twice. I actually have to get a man another man lately set up. Yeah, but I think I wrote already two of my versus seeker. Yeah I did. So I still have two more I have one more in my deck still. Oh so hopefully it's not prized. I'm gonna press the seeker for an ace trainer, okay? So, limits my hand. I have to do a draw with colors right now. Good thing is, they can't really one shot. Oh, he's gonna sick him more, okay. He's got a lot of cards. Good thing is, he can, they can't really one shot my Glalie because they have to use. They can only use a minimum of two of Greninja Break's abilities. And then Moonlight Slash won't kill it in one shot. He's gonna shuffle in three water energy back to his deck with Super Rod. It's gonna Shadow Stitch. Okay, so I can't really draw with Actillery right now, which is fine. I already have enough cards as it is. Let's bring out Mega Glider. I'm gonna end him for so he has a lot of cards in his hand. Oh, got the double colors. That's good. Uh, but the good news, you can't really one-shot it, so I'm gonna actually get a Lysander and knock out that Froakie that's on the bench there. Yeah, I don't know if I can really play, so I'm just going to cry him off and knock out the one-shot the, the Froakie. Okay, 
got another play. That's correct. I got another play set up. He would have to really go for my bench. He's probably going to go for my Manaphy. Because Manaphy, you, you just double water shuriken, or giant water shuriken, and knock him out. Let's see who's he going to go for. Oh, no, he's actually going to go for the Magic Lately. Okay. He's probably going to retrieve. Good Ninja has free retrieve, which is pretty awesome. He's going to sick him more again. He's probably looking for his water energy, so he can just keep giant water shuriken all over the place. I'm going to burst him a little. Okay, so if I do touch him, I'll knock myself out. Unless I draw my second life on my third versus seeker. I don't want slash. So he doesn't one shot. I, I don't get one shot it. That's a mega turret. That's nice. But we can't even lose the user right now. I'm gonna end here. I must have done two, but I have artillery, which is good, so I can just with fear of anything. I don't want to rough seize, but I, I, I can't knock him out if I don't, if I don't want to seize, so. Let me draw. Give him a card with artillery. Okay, I'm just gonna attack. Don't think I can really do. Okay, with the 60, which is fine. We'll draw another mega, that's good. I can get him nice and ready for the next run. He puts the Greninja back to his hand. He's probably going to the active Mega Glalie. Just fine, I'll bring on my Glalie EX. Well, the probably do is I'll end myself to one and I can just draw with artillery. If I don't get a double color status. Let's see what he does next. Grab the other Grand Ninja. What's he going to go for? Go for the manifold. I just hope he doesn't have Lysander. Right, it's bursting balloon, okay. And he's Lysander in the pile. He has a splash energy to the Green Ninja. I did a saddle stitch, okay, so he doesn't I can't draw. But I'm gonna sick him more. Probably gonna have to sick him. I don't have a choice. Oh, I mean we're about to make a lately first. Don't have a choice right now. Let me hear your rough seas. We hear both of you rough seas. Okay, so I got that to double color, which is good. Uh not the much I can really do. My like, glaze are gone, so I can't really search for anything else. Oh, uh, so do I have another in my power? I think I do. Give it a list too. Okay, no, I don't have any more cards left. Okay, so Pokemon we're gonna two water energy and and uh I know but so I was about to attack. I think I lose this game though. Or oh, you just double water shuriken. I can hear some of what she is first. Where he plays this one, he just retreats, then water shuriken. He's gonna try water shuriken. Which is double water shuriken the manaphy. That's all he really has to do. He's probably got this. You gotta do the giant water show in the second. Manaphy. And then the Manaphy. Well, and then he's got it. Does he not have the water energy? He might not. I doubt it. Most likely he does. He probably has a support just to get the water energy anyway. I got the splash. Also, you can just push it again to get the light and light on the man if you knock it off the game. Oh, he didn't get it. That's game. That is game. I thought I was, that's good. 
So he says it's more than 100, he gets hit for 250. Oh, it's not game, not yet. Oh, that's game, no, again, I won. Nice. Thank you guys for watching, I hope you enjoyed. That was a close game, I thought I was going to lose that one. Okay, I'm going to take my prize, some token, and stay tuned for more videos, folks, and stay tuned for more in 2017. Happy New Year to you guys, bye for now.